Hello friends, welcome to LMSDaily.com. In today's episode, I am going to show you about a time management tool which your students can use in Moodle and it will help them to understand what all the activities are required to be completed in order to proceed for the course completion. The plugin which is named as Completion Progress is a block type plugin in Moodle and we will be discussing about this plugin in today's episode. So let us get started. The completion progress block type plugin is one of the most popular and most downloaded plugins in Moodle. It helps your students to manage their own time. You can use it to display a visual representation of activities in the course which needs to be completed and which all they have completed. It uses different colors to show the progress made by the students in the course. As a teacher, you can also identify the students who are at risk by taking a report from this blog which shows the completion of all the other activities by different students. The students can also have a look of all the completion progress blocks on their own dashboard page which is the report coming from the different courses in Moodle. So first of all we need to download this plugin and install it on our Moodle site. So as of now I will be downloading the latest version which is compatible with Moodle 4.1 and in this demo I will show you how you can use it on Moodle 4.1 which I am running on the local host exam environment. So let me click on this download button. And once it is downloaded, then I need to extract it to the blocks directory. And as you can see, now I am logged into this Moodle site as the admin. So let me go to the notifications page to install this plugin completely. Let me click continue. So these are some settings which are available for the admin role and which you can configure right now or you can leave them as default and click on save changes. So I will just leave them as default and click on this save changes button here. So now what I will do is I will go to any course and show you how you can use this block. So let me go to this block, this course sorry and this is a course containing some lesson activities and some other different type of activities. So what I will do is I will click on this add a block in Moodle 4.1. This appears on this right sidebar when you have this edit mode turned on. If you do not have this on you can click on this toggle button to turn the editing mode on so i'll click here on add a block button and here you can choose different type of blocks so i will choose this completion progress block from the options so now as you can see that the block is added here in the moodle and this different color codes show the progress made by uh, the completion activities like the first one is marked as complete and it is shown in the green color the next three activities are not yet completed so they are shown in the blue color as of now but you can also change the color of this representation as per your own requirement so now I will show you uh, the report of all the different students in this course by clicking on this overview of students button so as you can see that uh, here you will see different students enrolled in the course and their own completion progress within the course. And on the right sidebar uh, you will see in different uh, percentage for different students like if a student is having less than 50% progress till around the course completion rate 
then he or she might be at risk of dropping out so you can just tackle them directly or through different means now i will go back and show you how you can configure the moodle uh, sorry the co completion progress block to co uh, configure this block you need to click on this gear icon and then click on this button configure completion progress block here the block comes with different settings like the order bar by here uh, as of now the current setting is that uh, the time using expected completion date is used as the ordering in the completion progress bar you can also opt for ordering in the course which means the order in which the activities are appearing in the course will be shown in this block so let me keep it as it is right now here you can choose how to present the long bars you can either squeeze them into the area or make a scrolling sidebar or you can also wrap them into the al aligned area apart from the colors you can also use the icons in the bar so let me choose yes here and if you choose to show the percentage to students then you can choose yes here but i will keep it no as of now there are some more advanced settings which are available under this show more button so i will just show you them you can have as many completion progress blocks in the course which might be the case when you want to show the students progress about different assignments as well as different quizzes so you can separate a completion progress block only for the assignment activities in the course and you can have a second instance for only the quizzes inside the course so this way you can put a alternate title to this completion progress block like the quiz completion progress status here you can mention in the next option you can choose the activities included within this completion progress block as of now by default it comes with all activities with completion set are marked as included in this however you can also select particular activities only by going this selected activities option so here you can control and click to choose multiple activities like this so once you are done you can click on save changes button at the bottom and as you can see now the icon is appearing inside this so this is how you can use this completion progress block in your moodle course if you like this video please don't forget to click on the subscribe button on our youtube channel as well as press the bell icon to get the latest updates thank you very much for watching this video if you have any more questions about the completion progress block please feel free to send your comments below thank you